Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the scoring system and a really cool, easy to use, no mythic team you can use for this Relic Hunter World event. As ever, first things first, pop to the rewards section and make sure you pick up your rewards first. And the reason is, this is a guild based event, and due to different time zones, other guild members may have started before you, and as such, you will have rewards just sitting there. And one of these rewards will actually be the Token of Iron which will eventually evolve to a badge of iron and ultimately to a medal of iron, giving you extra spell damage in this event, which is really important and makes a huge difference. So make sure you go and grab that. Right, obviously you can grab the tiers from the shop, but the most handy one straight away is just simply a tier one. Really cool. You get a potion of enchantment. All your troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle. You get another token and extra troops and other stuff too, all of which is really cool. Obviously, as you progress further, you can pick up more tiers to progress further in the event. All right, now onto the scoring system. Very, very, very straightforward this. There are six battles you can encounter during this event, which are Matron Valeni, Shogareth, the Deep King, the King of Thieves, Zeradar and Lady Marana. The battles are completely random, but they all have an equal chance of appearing on the map. Now, the scoring system for each troop is as follows. Literally, the Matron Valeni, Shogareth, Deep King, King of Thieves, Zeradar are all worth the same amount, which is six ancient weapons. Lady Marana is worth more. She is worth ten ancient weapons. That's what you collect during this. And each ancient weapon is worth five points. So I'm going to Simplify the scoring system on the screen, as you can see at the moment. And then basically, as battles against the five, the first five troops, Matron Valeni, Shrogarath, Deep King, King of Thieves, and Zeradar get harder, they will increase the amount of ancient weapons they give by 25%. As the battles against Lady Marana get harder, they will increase the amount of ancient weapons they give by 40%. So always fight Lady Marana first if you can and apart from that the other ones just fight the hardest one possible because it's going to give you more ancient weapons and therefore more points. Now onto the team and I'll show an alternative as well in case you don't have this uh, weapon or troops but this is a really nice team to start with so Quentin Hadley gives all night allies a 50% start with mana also converts purple to yellow and green to skulls and deals damage at the same time. Pretty cool that purple to yellow can help charge him up again and the green to skulls obviously speaks for itself if you have alignment. So a 50% start on all our troops because we're going to have all knights in this. We're going to be in knight class at the same time. Ebon's hammer explodes magic plus one blue gems, grants a random status effect to all knights, which is the entire team, and has a summon at the same time. We're going to be in knight class for this. The traits are nothing fantastic, but hey, it's pretty good. You can have Stonewall, all brown allies gain 2 armor. Leading Light gain 10 if in first position, which we are. Vanguard gain a barrier at the start of battle, very useful. Don't have to have Dawn's Aura, we might change that. Uh, Commander gain 2 to all skills if in first place, which we are. A banishment, dispel all enemies on 4 or 5 gem matches. And we'll probably change that last one as well, because that was in case you decided to use King Mikhail, which is an alternative team, which I'll just show in a second. So let's just take a look at that class ever so quickly, make sure we not wasting anything there. So that's all right. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah, don't really want that. If you don't have this on level 100 yet, that is a really good choice. Quick study. But Razor Armor, if you don't fancy that. Commander is good. Banishment is good. Uh, and yeah, not a lot there really. On that last one really but um yeah a pretty good class for this gonna roll with that banner wise we can have the kraken banner plus two brown plus one blue minus one purple so again simple we're going to just charge this weapon up that's going to charge a team Ulf harrigan deals a lot of true damage to three random enemies you can boost this up by sticking on mothers of nysha if an enemy is wounded, deal 10 extra damage, then summon Ulf's mascot. So we have actually three summons in here, which is kind of nuts. Always good to have a, a backup though. So two of them, they're going to be the main damage dealer. Damage dealers. Right, but if you don't have Ulf Harrigans, there is another cool way to go about this. You can pop in two King Mikhails if you have them. 
really good. Explodes a row, deal damage to all enemies, and deal nine more if I am enraged. Just put a King Mikhail at the top of the team, because it also gets enraged when matching a brown gem, which is going to do extra skull damage, as well as gain three to all skills if in first place anyway. So just pop that into first place. And the reason this is good as well is because with Sir Quentin Hadley, it converts purple to yellow and green to skulls. So by converting green to yellow, you're going to charge up your King Mikhail's nice and fast, as well as change green to skulls, doing loads of damage with your King Mikhail's because they get enraged when matching brown, which they will do because you use brown. So, um, and just change the weapon to something which generates mana. You're not going to have blue troops in the team now. So maybe change this to a basic weapon like Mountain Crusher, maybe to just to generate lots of mana for the team and put that in maybe second or third place. But I'm going to roll with this team. Let's uh, take it out of there and see how it does. Always say yes to equipping the weapon. Take a look at your medals. Now we don't need a medal of Arnu because we get a 50% start. So that is a free slot basically. So let's pop in uh, that badge. There it is. So we can just give ourselves a boost on power on the other stuff. So yeah, good to go. All right, let's take the team out there then and do a few scraps. Well, I've done a few already because the early stages were literally just cast the weapon and then cast the uh, Ulf Harrigans and everyone's just dying really quick. But the um, theory is basic along the um, whole thing. Just collect mana for the weapon, cast the weapon. This charges up your Ulfs and cast your Ulfs back to back to finish off the enemy. People linger around like that. You can then cast your Sir Quentin Hadley to help finish off. Makes a mincemeat of the opposition. And of course, this will just get more and more powerful as well as this event goes on. This is a week long event. And basically you're going to upgrade those tokens to a badge, ultimately to a medal, where you're going to be eventually getting a whopping 160% spell damage. It's going to make a massive difference. So. These events don't kind of really get harder because as the enemy gets more difficult, then basically you get more powerful at the same time. So it kind of balances out. Well, that's your idea anyway, especially if your whole guild is taking part as they well should do. And it's just rinse and repeat. Just keep a lookout for Lady Marana. She's the one you want. She's the one that's worth the most ancient weapons and therefore the most points. Take out that Val Raven at the bottom as soon as you can. This is going to give you Extra sigils. Extra sigils means more battles. More battles means more points. More points means more rewards for your team. Or for you. And more rewards means more stuff. More stuff means more progress in the game. And that's ultimately what it's all about. I'll just throw a few more because um, it's literally a rinse and repeat on this. It's a super easy team to use. Like I said earlier, the two times King Mikhail team is definitely an option. You can use Hadley to finish off. If he's doing enough damage to finish the enemy. You don't have to even look for the conversions of colour and skulls and stuff. Because you're going to kill him anyway. Do the higher level stuff because basically the um, as they... As the battles get harder, the, we the ancient weapon increased by 20%, 25%. So make sure you do the harder battles if you are capable of doing it. Let him have that. Oh, I was going to say I'll let him have that Skullwhack, but um, it didn't really give him a chance. Hey, I got a sneaky extra one in. So the insolence will be punished. And there we go. And the second off was there and... So was Quentin Hadley in case a random summon came along. So yeah, super straightforward this world event. Pretty much as straightforward and easy as it's ever going to get really. Be patient, make sure you get both your Quentin Hadleys charged at once. This way you can cast them back to back because obviously ordinarily one would mana block the other. So as soon as you cast the first one, any mana you collect, oh, hoping it would go on the second one, but actually go on the first one, and therefore take longer before you got to cast it. But yeah, nice straightforward event this. 
not a huge mana for a lot of mana from that one but hey ho sometimes it's better to just collect mana normally you don't have to cast a weapon just because it's ready yeah and just rinse and repeat and i think that will probably do for this because yeah it's very straightforward two options this team or the two times king mikhail with quentin hadley and a basic explodey weapon like mountain crusher definitely a good way to go for this let's get rid of them so when we cast our weapon we're gonna hit three enemies finish them off bingo bango whatever it is that is gonna do i think there's the team i'm gonna use for this wild event challenge this week if you enjoyed the video found it useful helpful any of that kind of stuff be really cool if you gave that like and subscribe button a little bash it really does help but most of all thanks for watching and i'll catch you again next time bye for now